First, I would like to thank Agi for the support and as well as the Hirschberg Foundation. And this work was uh, supported by seed grant from the uh, Hirschberg Foundation. As we all know, uh, pancreatic cancer is characterized by uh, rapid growth and, and limited proliferation of the cells, uh, as well as uh, uh, strong resistance to all that pathways. And we understand now that this is mediated by uh, multiple genetic mutations, such as Keras or P53, or overexpression of pro-survival proteins or overactivation of, of, of some uh, uh, pro-survival proteins, such as EKT kinase or BCLXL. Uh, however, we, we don't know much about uh, the mechanism of epithelial to mesenchymal transition that, is, that has been associated with not only uh, metastasis of the pancreatic cancer cells, but also with development of cancer stemness uh, characteristics, which mediates and leads to a resistance of the cancer cells to treatments. Actually, the, the major problem that face uh, pancreatic cancer patients and, and doctors is, is not the fact that the treatments do not kill cells. Actually, gemcitabine, for example, is very uh, efficient in killing pancreatic cancer cells and stopping the uh, proliferation of these cells. However, the major problem is, is that these cells, after uh, some time, they develop resistance to this treatment. And this resistance has been shown recently that it's that has been associated with development of epithelial to mesenchymal transition markers and uh, stem cell markers. Actually, uh, uh, a lot of groups now are working on the association of EMT and pancreatic cancer and stemness. And if you look at quick search in PubMed, uh, you will find that uh, in the last 20 years, there has been over 200 publications on EMT and pancreatic cancer. 90% of them were published only in the last four years, which shows how uh, the scientific community is, is now focusing on this uh, pathway. We have seen this data two days ago from a presentation of Dr. Stephen Leish, where he showed that uh, markers of epithelial to mesenchymal transition are present not only in the, at the PDAC cells, but also at the panion cells in mice, which indicates or suggests that uh, metastasis and even resistance to treatment can happen at early stage of the disease, even before the pancreatic adenocarcinoma stage. In our model that we have developed in our lab, uh, where we export mice, keras mice, to uh, cigarette smoke uh, for five days per week, six hours per day, and to induce progression of the disease, we try to understand if exposure to cigarette smoke, which is a major risk factor of pancreatic cancer, affect uh, EMT in early stage of the disease, which means in the panel lesion, especially panel lesion 1 and 2, or panel lesion 1A and 1B. And this is a very important model because uh, we know that the models that exist so far, the Keras models and other uh, 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 genetic models of pancreatic cancer, uh, in general, they don't develop pancreatic cancer spontaneously. They develop panic lesions. And we know that in humans, uh, a lot of people carry the Keras mutation, but they don't develop the disease. So you need the second hit that can be smoking, can be uh, pancreatitis, can be high fat diet, like what, what I've seen in the previous presentation, that will lead to development of the disease. So this makes really this model very important because it, it really mimics what's happening uh, in humans. So in this model, uh, I've already showed this data in the presentation two days ago where we found that cigarette smoke exposure s significantly stimulates panel lesion formation and increases by about three and a half times and also uh, s uh, stimulates fibrosis in this cells. So our hypothesis is that cigarette smoke not only will stimulate panel formation, panel lesion formation, but it will stimulate early epithelial to mesenchymal transition that will lead to migration and invasion and early metastasis of the panel lesion cells and also will lead to development of cancer stem cell markers that will lead to resistance to treatments, even at the early stage of the disease. So we asked what is mediating this effect of cigarette smoke. Uh, this 
I'd like to show this slide that I, I, I have from the Nature Review that was published two, uh, three, year, two years ago, because it shows all the characteristics and the mediators of epithelial to mesenchymal transition. So the epithelial cells can go through this transition to become mesenchymal, and there are known markers that are used, and we have seen in previous presentation, that are used to uh, differentiate between the two cells. A major one is e cadherin that is used as a marker for epithelial cells. Vimentin, alpha smooth mass lactin, and fibronectin, or n cadherin are major markers of mesenchymal cells. And there are major uh, transcription factors, many transcription factors that mediate this transition. Major ones include SNELs, 1 and 2, ZEB1 and 2, TWIST, and other transcription factors. This transition allows the cells to be able to invade and metastasize and make them resistance, resistant to treatment. And also this tr transition is reversible, so the cells, when they, once they metastasize and they reach a different organ, they go through a mesenchymal to epithelial transition that will allow them to proliferate normally. So we look at our uh, model of pancreatic cancer induced by cigarette smoke, and we found that all the markers that I've shown before, all the markers of epithelial to mesenchymal transition were affected. Actually, e cadherin was decreased in the cigarette smoke model, and uh, mesenchymal markers, vimentin and alpha smooth mass lactin, were significantly increased in the mice exposed to cigarette smoke. This indicates that cigarette smoke induced epithelial to mesenchymal transition in early lesions in these mice. So again, looking at this uh, scheme, we asked what kind of transcription factor is involved here, and we found that, we look at all the transcription factors, and we found that ZEB1 was the, the one that was significantly affected in mice exposed to cigarette smoke, suggesting that it's the transcription factor that mediates this effect. To make sure it's regulating uh, epithelial to mesenchymal transition in pancreatic cancer cells, we knocked down ZEB1 in Miyapaka cells, and we found that it really decreased the level of uh, mesenchymal cells markers vimentin. So next, we try to see if a cigarette smoke effect not only leads to epithelial to mesenchymal transition, but also to uh, stimulus because there are a lot of papers that showed, and we have seen a lot of presentations in this meeting that shows association of EMT with uh, cancer stemness. And we look, at, we look at these two markers of cancer stem cells, and we found that cigarette smoke actually increased expression of cancer stem cells markers. We had CD133 and SOX2 uh, shown in this slide. And we wanted next to check the effect of inhibition of ZEB1 on preventing the stemness EMT and resistance to treatment induced when we give gemcitabine to the cells. So we treated Miapaka cells with gemcitabine, with a low dose of gemcitabine, and we knocked down ZEB1 to see if we will prevent the effect of gemcitabine on EMT and stemness. We actually see here that gemcitabine uh, slightly increase ZEB1 level and stemness, marker CD133. And when we combine ZEB1 SRNA with gemcitabine, we prevent this effect. So both effects on EMT and stemness were prevented. So we measured the effect of gemcitabine again on apoptosis, and we found that combination of ZEB1 SRNA and gemcitabine significantly increase apoptosis in the cells, indicating that ZEB1 is mediating some kind of resistance of some cells, some of these Miyapaka cells, uh, most likely the mesenchymal cells. They are resistant to gemcitabine, and when we knock down ZEB1 uh, with using specific SRNA, we prevented this effect. So going back to our model, we applied a chemical that inhibits ZEB1 and inhibits uh, uh, EMT. We, we still cannot disclose this, this chemical, but it's a chemical that targets EMT in these cells. And we found that we were able to reverse the effect of smoking. Smoking increased panel lesions by three and a half times when we uh, gave this chemical to the mice, we reversed the effect. And the level of 
tangy lesions was even much lower than control mice. Furthermore, we had the same effect on, uh, EM, uh, on fibrosis. The smoking increased fibrosis, but when we gave this ZEB1 uh, inhibitor to the mice, we reversed the effect, and the level of fibrosis was even much lower than in control mice. And lastly, we checked the effect of the chemical on uh, markers of stemness, and we found that inhibition of ZEB1 pathway actually prevent the effect of smoking on activating stemness in this cells. So this data, in conclusion, uh, confirmed that ZEB1 is playing a major role in the uh, resistance of cancer cells to treatment. And we showed that EMT is uh, induced during the early penny lesions of pancreatic cancer development. We showed that EMT mediates cancer stemness in these penny lesions as well as in cancer cells. And we showed that ZEB1 is a major mediator of EMT and stemness and resistance of cancer cells to treatment. Thank you.